Good evening, everyone. I'm Charlie Lapastora. The Southern Miss Golden Eagles won five games this season while scoring at least three goals in each of those games. And with three home games and three wins, they're off to a great start. And it's a story of threes because their last game at Texas Southern, they won three nothing. It's back to Hattiesburg tomorrow against Jackson State. Now for Ole Miss soccer team, they're undefeated. 7-0-1, that's their record. Next up though, Florida, the seventh ranked team in the country. It's nice. It's a nationally ranked uh, game, right, on national TV, and it's on the SEC network, and that's exciting for us and for our players, and we're going down there to, to do everything we, everything we've been doing and, and try and work as hard as we can. Florida's a great opponent. Uh, they're super uh, well coached, and, and I have a lot of respect for Becky and her staff. And um, so, you know, we, we've struggled against Florida down there. We've struggled against Florida here. So we're excited to go and take them on and, and with this new team and, and get our first uh, kind of crack at them. I think with the SEC teams, you know every game is going to be kind of a, a knockdown, drag out battle to the finish. And I think that's what's so exciting about the SEC and SEC soccer is that kind of, you know that every game you go into, you have to give your 100% because the other team's going to, you know what I mean, it's going to be a battle to the end. Well, ESPN anchor Jamel Hill went on a Twitter rant saying, quote, Donald Trump is a white supremacist who has largely surrounded himself with other white supremacists, end quote. She also said, quote, he is unqualified and unfit to be president. He is not a leader. And if he were not white, he never would have been elected, end quote. A variety reports her rant began as a comment on an article posted by The Hill about, a, about Kid Rock accusing the media of labeling him a racist. ESPN PR tweeted this statement. It says, quote, the comments on Twitter from Jamel Hill regarding the president do not represent the position of ESPN. We have addressed this with Jamel and she recognizes her actions were inappropriate, end quote. The co-host of The Blaze was on Fox and Friends this morning and shared his thoughts on this. She is. And, 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 I, love that, and I love that about her. But you know what? Sometimes I think people should stay in their lane and, and do what they do best. When you start getting on the political spectrum and making things about personal politics, which many on the left do, then you start to uh, hurt your credibility. And I'm, I'm sorry, that's what she did with this argument that she went on Twitter with. Well, it's obvious that based on some of the commentary from uh, some of the pundits, uh, now they're pundits because they don't only talk about sports, it's about politics now. It's clear that they are trying to push some liberal agenda based on some of the analysis you're seeing from ESPN. But on the other hand, ESPN colleague Michael Wilbon said, quote, happy to stand with my friend and colleague Jamel Hill anytime and anywhere, especially now, end quote. The Cleveland Indians has won 21 straight games, 21 in a row, that's right. After beating the Tigers 5-3 today, they're just one win closer to that MLB record, which according to USA Today is 26 set by the New York Giants. And that was in 1916. 1916. Mm. Yeah. So a little bit uh, further away there. <laughs> it's going to be a, a record, you know, it's going to be a crazy record if they break it. You think it'll happen? I think so. I think so. They could do it. Only five more to go. 21, yeah. why not? <laughs> the they're almost there. See. Yeah.